a really awkward thing to do on camera. Hi guys, I'm back. And today we're getting a little personal. Well, not really, we're just chatting about something besides food. Because apparently there's more to life than food. But today we're actually making a DIY for homemade rose water. And this is one of my favorite things to use on my skin. If you follow one of my other blogs, because I have 17,000 blogs, um, I've made a homemade face toner before, and I just used apple cider vinegar and tea tree oil, and it's amazing, but it does have a little bit of a lingering apple cider vinegar scent, and no one really wants to smell like vinegar. Um, I still use it all the time, here it is. Um, but I absolutely love using rose water as a face toner. So today we're going to be making it together because that stuff is hella expensive in stores when you can just make it yourself. And it's really, really easy. So let's jump in. All you need are some fresh roses. Ideally get some organic ones that haven't been like grown in like a, like a bathtub of pesticides. That would be ideal because otherwise that's what's gonna end up on your face not good and then you also need some distilled water um, and we're using distilled water just because like it has like everything stripped of it even the good minerals but it just like makes it softer on your skin um, so that you're really able to pull out the really good stuff from the rose water um, so yeah let's make it together and then we can chat about how I use it and why I love it all right let's get started you're gonna kick off the recipe by pulling individual petals off the roses and then running them under lukewarm water just to get rid of anything left over on the petals. Then you're gonna add them to a large pot. I used about seven stems, but it's totally up to you. And top it with distilled water, but just enough water so that it just covers it. You don't wanna dilute it too much. Then you're gonna place the top on and put it on medium heat to let it simmer and you'll let it simmer for about 20 to 30 minutes until the petals lose their color. Then you're gonna place a colander or strainer over a bowl, pour your mixture into the colander to catch the petals, and then pull it up so that you have your homemade rose water. Seriously, that's it. Then you're gonna add it to a glass jar. Obviously, my glass jar was a little bit small, so yeah, you're gonna to wanna to use something bigger than that. And now to make your toner, you're gonna to take about a tablespoon of the rose water and mix it with about two to three ounces of water. And the rest you'll find on the blog. So that's how you make DIY rose water. And now I just wanna chat with you about some of the ways that I actually like to use it. Um, so my favorite way is in my skincare routine. So I'll use this DIY rose water face toner. Um, and I talked a little bit about it in the intro about how sometimes I use apple cider vinegar, which is awesome too. But this one smells amazing. Um, it helps bring the pH of your skin back down after you've cleansed it before you moisturize, um, which is really awesome for your skin. And rose water is super detoxifying as well. Um, some other ways I like to use it is I'll add it into my bath. Um, so sometimes I'll take like a nightly bath just to de-stress and it's de-stressing and calming and smells great. Um, other ways I like to use it as like a natural perfume. So I'll just spray it here and do a little bit of this and then I smell like roses. Um, and then sometimes I'll use it just like as a midday like refresher. Um, so you know those Evian spray bottles? It's basically like glorified water in a spray bottle, but it's supposed to be like, you know, like a wake up refresher. Um, yeah, so this is the same thing, but you made it yourself. It's a lot cheaper and also actually works because rose water has some benefits to it. So you just do a little little but that felt amazing and it smells so good it smells like a spa like coming at your face like so nice um yeah so that those are probably the main ways i like to use it in my beauty routine um but you can also use it in the kitchen so sometimes i'll add a little splash to my lemon water in the morning um i know other people like to cook with it i just haven't done it that much um so if you have definitely let me know uh, but I'll leave links to some of the ways you can use your rose water in the description box below. So be sure to check it out and also check out the blog post with a detailed description on how to make everything and measurements and all that business. Um, yeah, so that's all I've got for you today. Be sure to comment, like, thumbs up, spread the word. Awesome. All right. I'll chat with you guys soon. Bye.